Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Today I get to do something a little bit different and really fun. I am currently at the AI Engineer World's Fair. It's happening in San Francisco, and they're calling it the biggest technical AI conference in San Francisco. This is an event that I believe started out with a much smaller set of ambitions, but when they saw so much interest, it just kept expanding. When all was said and done, they had over 100 different speakers delivering talks, workshops, etc. across nine different tracks, and there is just a ton of developer energy here. So what I want to do is, in no particular order, share around seven different observations from my time here over the last couple days. The first observation is that this is very inward-facing. What I mean by that is that the people who are here are not trying to impress TechCrunch and they're not trying to impress investors, although if that happens, that's a nice side benefit. Instead, this is a bunch of AI teams building for other AI teams. The types of things that these developers are working on are often infrastructure and solving problems of AI development and implementation, which I think says a lot about the state of where things are, which gets me to the second related point. These folks are super focused on production specifics, what makes this technology actually work. It is not forward-looking futuristic stuff meant to open people's eyes and make them dream of possible futures. It's really solving problems in the here and now. And part of what's shaping that, and maybe this is the third observation, is that this event finds these people with now more than a year of learnings under their belt in this current stage of generative AI development. Basically, if this event had been held 12 months ago or 15 months ago, the type of conversations would have been very different. This time around, they're informed by what people have actually learned are the problems, the challenges, the holes that need to get fixed for this technology to live up to its full potential. And as you can see, all three of these initial observations, the teams building for teams, the focus on how to make these technologies actually work, the year of learnings under their belt, all add up to a super applied feeling event. It is hyper, hyper practical. And that brings me to my fourth observation. It also feels very separated from the hype. It's not that somehow these companies and participants are blithely unaware of how significant the AI conversation is or what Wall Street is doing around AI. It's just not where they're focused. Again, these are engineers building for other engineers. And I think that for anyone who is concerned that AI is getting out over its skis, spending some time in this place, which is so focused on the practical and what comes next and what needs to get done now, would maybe make you think a little bit different about things. Next observation is that for as much time as we spend on the AI Daily Brief talking about AI in the enterprise and AI coming to companies, there is much less Fortune 500 participation at this event at least. They do have an AI in the Fortune 500 track, and there are some really interesting people here. And notably, the people that they have brought from big companies are extremely technical. I think it could be a mistake to overly infer from the participation here exactly what the state of technical AI development is within the Fortune 500, in that I wouldn't want to extrapolate that just because there isn't all that much of that action here doesn't mean it's not happening elsewhere. It could have just not been as much of a focus for these organizers. But it is notable that at this event, at least, The Fortune 500 is only very, very barely intersecting with this whole world of AI engineering. It may be as simple as the natural place for Fortune 500 intersection with this audience being a little bit later in the development journey. But whatever the reason, it is notable to me. A sixth observation is that there really is something to this idea of a new category called AI engineers. On the one hand, it could be tempting to just view that as marketing speak to ask how different they are than other types of software engineers, or perhaps on the other end of the spectrum to point out that there have been AI ML engineers for a ton of time, this really does feel like a different type of middle category. I was talking with the CEO of a big agent company that was at this event, and they were talking about how interesting it was that the AI Engineer World's Fair had carved out this middle space between, on the one hand, the super technical conferences made up of folks who have been working on these types of problems for 20, 25 years, And on the full other end of the spectrum, the absolute glut of businessy type AI conferences, which are focused on use cases and things like that. This category of applied day in, day out AI engineers who are focused on engineering in this specific discipline, but who aren't necessarily doing the same type of deep research that some of those others have in the past, does feel like this interesting novel space. And I think the fact that this event grew so organically speaks to the resonance of this as an actual category. Lastly, When it comes to specific topics, one that is notable even for a non-technical semi-outsider is that agents continue to be a major, major focus. Indeed, in their description of the event, they call AI agent applications the holy grail of AI, full self-driving autonomous execution. 
There are a ton of companies here working on agent-related projects and a significant number of conversations happening around it as well. However, and this is really interesting to note, these agent conversations are so much more specific than the type of very generic, hypey things that we were seeing, call it a year ago at this time. The companies that are working on agent problems here aren't just a group of people trying to create a generic AI agent from scratch. They are working on discrete challenges within a larger agentic framework, trying to solve them one by one as we evolve towards an overall ecosystem powered by, enabled by, and primed for AI agents. So once again, even in the most noticeably hypey and exciting and experimental piece of this whole field, still in practice, the conversations and the focus are much more practical and specific at this particular event. I have had a ton of fun at this event. I've had a great time talking to all the people here. Big congrats to Small and the team that have put this on. I think it's a smashing success. And I'm excited to come back in a year again or whenever you do the next event to see once more just how fast things are moving. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.